Deep reflection of your own fear. Demonized like Pennywise. Did he like kids or just a homicide? The corners of my mind might terrify a lesser guy. Hello to you. Let us test the fire. The season few. And a special hello to you, Max Maximus. Happy birthday. I want everybody to get in that comment section. Comment happy birthday for the ladies, man. The ladies love him. Max Maximus. You know him. Half of the tag team champions. He can't celebrate with us tonight. So we're going to celebrate with Everyone in the solo season universe. We're going to have to throw a little party for them tonight. We're drinking. We're smoking. We're doing our thing. Mm. I had to switch over to some beer because I got a little lit earlier. I called you, man. I called you. I wanted to say what's up. You're already partying and I'm very happy about that. Very happy about that. And I hope everybody else out there is having a good morning. Good afternoon. Good night. Whenever you found us, right? I'm just hoping that you're having a great night. Great day, great evening. Because I know I'm having a great time. Entertaining you guys this season few. Once I, I wake up every day, man, happy to do this. Just because I know, for a fact, I've got the best family in the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, enough of that, though. If you're new here, you know, there's a few things you got to do. It's the three punch combo. Like, share, subscribe. Get that out the way, man. Get the notifications. That's a four punch combo. Comment section. Five punch combo. Hit me up on Facebook, IG, my uh, Discord, Solo Seasons WWE Universe, man. That's where the best fan fiction is, man. That's where you get the juicy tidbits. That's where you figure out the uh, fantasy sports style betting. That's right. That's where you can get the statistics that you need to win some money. Didn't know that was a thing, did you? Nope. We're going to start doing that real soon. Go ahead. Check it out. Get yourself that five-punch combo going, six-punch combo, man. Hit me up on my celly if you got it. <laughs> but, again, welcome, man. RPG-style character progression, fantasy sports-style betting, and the most electrifying four corners known to man. It's a party tonight. You can hear some of my songs playing in the background. Boy, I let the hair out. I put the jean jacket on. Me and me and Tone are fighting first. Shout out Tone. We just came from the studio today. Amazing. Amazing studio over there by uh, B Music. Those guys are great, man. Check them out if you guys are looking to record. Woo, look how saucy my dude looks, man. Nobody got the sauce like Jay Savage, boy. There's that alter ego, man, the Falcon. Listen, man, there's no way Tone's beating me tonight. Not how turned up this part, that his alter ego. Man, I told you, this RPG style character progression, right? Role-playing game, if you didn't know what RPG stood for. So you got to play the role, man. You think you're a cool kid? Get in there. Get in the comment section. Try to be a cool kid like your man's right here. If you think you're a killer like uh, Bryce Payne, get in there. Prove it. Talk that, talk that trash that a killer talks, man. Oh, my God. Yes, big facts. If you guys didn't see that episode, probably one of the funniest and one of the most really... Do you have a lighter over there, Lily? Not the face. Oh, I just dropped it. No mind. face was like it. Yeah, one of the most legit episodes we had. Very short, very sweet, but uh, very painful. Like yeah. Man, it started a whole new stream for me. He kicked me in the nuts and started the Fallout 4 stream. Shout out you, Bryce Payne. Good guy. <laughs> oh, and shout out Tone. Here he comes, man. Here he comes. He did such a good job in the studio today, too. It was so business savvy. Very happy about what GMBP is going to be doing here soon. He really did, man. Paid for some studio time. It was local in Rutland. Like, he really is trying to make it Rutland Rays. You know what I mean? He's really trying his hardest to bring where he's from with him. You know, put his little piece of the map on the scene. Both. So the same exact microphone that Drake uses. So 
Oh, the turntables? Oh, the MIDI. You're talking about the MIDI control. The slidey things on. Yeah. That's called the MIDI, a MIDI control. And so, yeah, he had 17 of those. Low key, he told us that he bought one for us too. He didn't. He had a mixing board that was for a band, and he bought a mixing board for us that was for hip hop. And so, like you know, it's just nice. again, shout out Tone, man. He's uh, really trying to homegrown this whole thing, and he's trying to take his talent with him, man. Something that maybe you guys can learn a lot from, you know. Thank Every you. everybody investing in things that maybe they shouldn't be investing. In. Get your money, man. I ain't gonna tell you not to get your money. Just you know, don't make China the fucking world anyway man we're not gonna talk about that that's a totally different thing man totally different thing right now we're gonna get into this four corners man the universe man jay savage tone he didn't even take the jacket off look at my man tone he didn't even take the jacket off man you're tripping you're tripping i feel yep yep jay savage feeling the same disrespect i am you can't do that to me man you better better bring your a-game brother i'm telling you Look at the skill. Look at the skill. Look at the outfit. Look at the shin guards. Look at Reeves sitting ringside. Mom Duke's getting it. Man, I'm telling you. My support system's so lit. There's one thing. Like, I love Tone. It's so funny, right? Because obviously the fights are fake. That's why we love this. Because the fights are fake. Me and Tone, great friends. We're business partners. We do a lot together. But I hate his character in this game, man. Anytime me and him square up in these matches, it's just, I hate it, bro. We have the worst kind of matches. Due to our relations, we have gotten into yeah. fist fights at some point. He it's been serious. I'm telling you, me and Tone have thrown a few slaps at each other before. It has been, uh, and then again, that's, how, that's what brothers do. You know, sometimes I'm tripping, sometimes he's tripping. We meet in the middle at some point because our goal is the same. Shout out my man Tone. Right now, getting drug out, boy. Oh, what, you, what am I doing? Oh, I threw him at real. Woo, what is he doing? <gasps> He's hitting his cousin and getting disqualified instantly. Look at you winning on the wow. outside. You just won on the outside. Look how me. disappointing my character is, too. Like, why? Everybody's the... outside the ring and you won. That's crazy. So I brought the fam bam in one. Ha! Ah, yo, shut up my man. I'll hit that. We didn't even finish the punch sound before it said J7. Bro, the referee disqualified Tone so fast. Yo, and he, the fuck the thing about. Yo! Shout out my man El Jefe, uh, another good friend of mine. Uh, again, he's one of the guys who started the universe in a sense he introduced me to how the universe works and i i took it and ran with My it man kids love you. yeah shout out el jefe man all the kids love his energy he, they just love the fact that he does these huge backflip tricks he's just he never stops you know that's say, the thing can we go to el jefe's house yeah check out his lady's tiktok man you can see him playing video games all the time he's a funny they dude also say can we go see buddha bomb buddha bomb another guy and again shout out max maximus happy birthday brother oh. happy birthday we saw your lady earlier charisma birthday, charismatic charisma too. who just lost the belt to reeves happy birthday hey, should we sing to him Happy I took your girl's belt. Ah. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday, man! Now you got. Now you're not. A, now your girl's not a champion anymore. <laughs> yeah, the drama's real, bro. The fights are fake, but the drama's real. Get in the comment section, man. Tell me what you guys think about that uh, right hand from Tone. He smoked Reeves. She ate it like a champ, but damn. I'm used to it. So yeah, not the usual night. Uh, it's uh, we're partying. We're partying with my man Max Maximus, and you are too. The season few. Get in the comment section. If you have a character, comment happy birthday. I'll give you five points. All right, offer it. Offer it. I'll give you five points. Thank Max Maximus for that. Hopefully uh, he can win his match tonight. They've got a tag team match against their rivals, Ducky and uh, Mr. J. It's been ugly. Yeah, not your usual night, man. Birthday related in the comments. Do you want to guess the age of Max Maximus? His real age. And if he hits like on your comment, you get a point. All right, another bat, another point added on. All right, the, the, the solo season ladies champion Reeves trying to get you guys some points too. If you guys can guess Max's real age and, and be he, kind, 
It's gonna be funny though if he doesn't like it because he doesn't want nobody to know because he's a ladies' man. <laughs> be kind, embrace your age. We're all good. That is so funny. He's probably younger than me. <laughs> I'm a little upset though because his hair is longer than mine, but it's all right. I'm working on it. Got the full blowout going right now, boy. Oh, look at the. Ooh, look at the fight breaking out between my guy. And my <gasps> Did Mike really just get the best of my man Hefe? Damn. Shaking off Hef. Yeah, come on, man. He's gonna take a second. Yo, look at the referee telling him chill out. You can't lose. But that's the thing. This is a wrestling match. This is a wrestling match. El Hefe pointing to him, telling him I'm fucking. Oh. Oh please. <gasps> Yo, Where did the you come from tonight? See, I'm upset about this. It's not even like El Jefe was done with this. Yeah, get him, get him. Did you know he was coming out? No, fuck no. Nobody knew. El Jefe, man, just trying to take a break. Yeah, who needs a break, though? I told you this guy El Jefe can't be stopped. Ooh, big uh, back Blaze kick. Earlier too. We did see Blaze Curly earlier. Yelled, Hi, Uncle Blaze. That's Not right. Uh-huh. Blaze uh, at the studio with us today making uh, making a track with us. So we got Come Get It coming out, remastered. Uh, you can check my playlist that's playing Something right now. Super focused and determined today. It was. It was really nice, man. You guys get the remastered version of Training Day. That's coming out soon. GMBP. Uh, shout out them. Shout out Solo Season. Ha. Uh, shout out my man's uh, for making Come and Get It, which is one of our original songs from GMBP. Awesome. You guys are going to see the remastered version of that. And they've got two or three songs that they did themselves, man. That I can't wait to hear. Cool location, that studio is it really is. Like if they need like, it's their perfect. instruments repaired, you know what I mean? Like their stuff, like their sound stuff. It's awesome. Right and let me tell you about the equipment he has down there, too. Like, so there's a, a video of Drake in the studio. So the same exact mic that Drake had in that studio was hanging up. So, boy, uh, we're, get, we're getting there, babe. We're getting there. Mm -hmm. We're going to work it out, but we're going to make a I home I just wanted to know about the slidey thing because of movies. Obviously. Oh, let me just was say. It, was it big, big? It like was. It, well, it's like he has like seven of them. Did you have, were you in a glass box thing? No, it was a no. it was a big room. It was so cool. So he and everyone else goes they go into a secure area so they can talk shit. But the actual large area is where the band and the microphone. Yeah, yeah, is, that's so what I mean. Like, is there it was, glass stuff like that? No, no. Well, yeah, like there is. Movie? Yeah, there is. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah, there is. You're right about yeah. that. Yeah, there's uh, a glass well, barrier. Sure. Bro, the whole place is legit. The foam, glass, double pane glass, double doors, like they put in extra layers of walling. Really? Like it's like, really were they, like good. wall size sheets of like the foam. Bro, it was the whole place was soundproof, carpets, yeah. the whole night. We did. Uh we have there's a lot of rules with that though, because we yeah. have advertising rules. Uh so I have an Instagram right now, uh, J underscore solo underscore IG. You guys check that out. Uh, you guys can see it. Go check it out. For the rules, just like don't use the studio name. No, 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 nothing like that. It's just because there's COVID, so we had to wear masks and like certain things like that are very, uh, you know, it's their, it's their business model. So if right. we don't fit their business model, then. Uh, then we won't be able to work with them. So it was very professional. I loved it. And it's the same thing. I want to bring other people in the solo well, season, right? Did you guys, you guys take the mask off for, um... Yeah, of course. Recording. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So no one I else is in the room while you're recording. Like, muscle, like, <laughs> Stay the fuck away from me. COVID, bro. <laughs> Six feet apart. Six feet, bro. No, it was really nice in there. Ooh. I hate the fact that he does that. Hold on, let me get past this. My playlist is lit, but there's just, it's just like, I know it's coming next. I knew this. Ooh, big drop kick. Big drop kick. See, I, put, I love this right now because Mike Campbell ain't no joke. He ain't no slouch. He held the solo season universal belt for a while, which is really insane to me. I haven't got the belt back, man. Thinking of that. Come on, Hefe. Get up, man. Get up. No, this is his butterfly power bomb. No. Hefe's out. Hefe's done. Oh, Mike Campbell trying to do too much. Uh oh. El Hefe might have made. All right, here we go. Hey, hey yo. -ho. Power bomb for power bomb. There we go. I told you, my man El Hefe don't give up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but so he went through like 
I don't know. Testing? I kept a mask. You know what I mean? I know. Ah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Either way. Hey, guys. Okay. See what I'm talking about here? Make sure everybody's taking proper... Yo, listen, you guys. Please take proper... Oh, no. What is LFA doing? Yes! I told you I'd give you a kick! I told you, Hefe. Oh, what is your guy doing? Yeah, you should have just pinned him. What is he doing? Okay, alright. One knee on the back, Cammy Clutch. Knee on the back. Oh, what are you doing, bro? That was an amazing finish. PT Dubs, keep up the COVID guidelines. Oh, all that no. crowd is holograms. Yeah, they're, they're holograms. <laughs> yeah, they're not real. They're not real. Now, well, in all honesty, a lot of places like Japan and all that other places, like some people, some they, they these they, all are fully vaccinated. Yeah, everyone's vaccinated. Big flags. Yeah. Except for that guy right there, he's definitely sick. Oh no! Get up! No! <gasps> no! Alan's got three COVID shots. And see, this is exactly why the drama is so real. Why did El Jefe? But he was his fault, though. It was his own ego that just did him in. Get up and fight, sir. You don't just get to win because you smiled at the crowd. He did such a good job with that new kick I gave him, too. Man, he should have just pinned him after that, but he went for a submission instead. He was sitting there like he does on the menu with that grin on his face. Oh, my God. Hey, here we go. Does he have his hands on his hips like this, like super powery? Is that him? No. no. I have no clue what his menu pose is right now, but... I, no, I feel like his is like this, like off to the side with a smile. Eric's is the weird one. Oh, you guys thought... Yeah, Eric's a fool. Yo. Herkin Roshenroder. Mark... How do you say... Roken Hershen... Whatever. I'm going to say... I only get like 80 fucking views anyway. Like, Hershenroder. Love it. Letter Kenny. Letter Kenny. Yo, he always comes with the... Ooh, that power bomb is so efficient, bro. He was always wearing some got fly got shit. Got I gotta play that again, man. Let you guys did. Ooh, smokes, the big kick, boy. I just can't believe El Jefe just lost, bro. Seriously. Did you change my Campbell's outfit? Yeah, I did. I uh, every. He, in the red he was. That's right. Now Mike Campbell went from kind of a playing around guy to more of a serious guy. He I did. Like, uh, Blaze's new outfit. Yeah. Like, Blaze kind of got like a bulletproof vest on. It was a nice change on. up from it because his other one was too much like he his was real a goofball. Life. Yeah, his other one was too much like his real and life. And so again, this is RPG style character progression, guys. You got to be who you want to be. So my buddy in the beginning, I like the little fireman. No, it's okay. Yeah, so they everyone thought it was just a game in the beginning, and so did I. I just didn't realize how. A whack other streamers are. I'm gonna be real, man. Other streamers are just trash. Why would you want to watch someone else play a video game? Like, that's really trash. You're not gonna be involved in all. You just like watching a big brother. I get brother. jealous of the game sometimes, guys. She gets mad jealous. You guys can just hear sometimes, me. Sometimes, but I don't say anything anymore oh, because it's doing something. Oh, stop it! You guys know you hear in the background. I know you. I don't hear. say much. I just do passive aggressive. That's so. my man, KJ. Another guy we know in real life. Yeah, he's a good kid. He's an awesome yeah. guy, man. Seen him at he's Five like, Guys. Yeah, my little brother. Glad when he stopped That's Jody Plummet in Heat. Bark at bitches. I don't care what you think. The main reason he gonna turn over. If he ain't pillow talking, gets a cold shoulder. He ain't even noticed. She's... Oh, found the sick. bumped into him over the... No, he's in the hood. He's got his new Hopefully girlfriend, I think. I'm really happy for him. Look at him. He's always been doing good. He was a forester for a little while. And he was always in uniform, so that's why I made him my security guard. Yeah, and him and uh, him and Moon Dog Rex have to fight now because he jumped Cook backstage, right? So Moon Dog Rex jumped Cook backstage. It didn't work out for him, but KJ is our security guard, so now he has to pay the price. I didn't know I was a security guard. I knew my little brother's really close friend. I'm Bill Cosby. Watch your pudding. He's at our house all the time when he's younger. Love it. Then he was a very young hustler. Big hustler out there, boy. <laughs> How the soft shots go, kill me. Yo, check out my playlist, man. Jay Solis plays. This is you guys here tonight. It's a different night. Happy birthday to Max Max. Give them some of the lovey songs, too, babe. Oh, they're all going to play through, love. They're all going to play through. At the end of the night, at the end of this whole thing. He made me a really nice song that made me cry. 
Love, love is here. a funny thing, guys. It's a very nice one. And my man Moondog, man, he loves that hammer. But he doesn't play it much because he's a rapper. Yeah, at the same time, it's one of my favorite songs. And we actually just found a bunch of singers, male singers today. So I'm going to revamp Soul Season Volume 1. And everything that I sang, I'm going to have someone that can actually sing to it. <laughs> So find ugly oh my god there's no f all right you just do like a cut out of a pretty girl like on the video oh my god do you see how far this is going guys the petty like back in the 80s they used to do that to fat people the drama's real the drama's real first off hell no you couldn't tell me nothing about faith evans fat ass or not faith evans but um uh, Aretha Franklin. no 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 oh, she was big yeah, too but, but they, they put no, the skinny chick I in said, the video though who, she was in the back she was who did I say? I said, um, no, it was the light skinned girl. Um, she did a lot of poetry stuff. Damn, she was so good. Like, oh, this is, this is. Okay. Oh, man. There's, I love. The remix that Spacey did with my song. It was a decent remix. It was like the original better, obviously. Yeah. Bark it, bark it, Drugs and love. Drugs and love. We're going to play that. Well, actually, we already played it. If you want to listen and rewind it. <laughs> or hit my playlist, man. I need a couple more likes on there. We're multiverse faceted here at the Solo Season Universe. I do want to shout out my man Chris Hemingway, though, a.k.a. Moondog Rex. So... His RPG style character progression comes from the fact that he is a real wrestling fan. He is a real wrestling fan. So you need to go back, dig into the 80s, and you'll find a guy named Rex. And uh, that was the days where... Well, if we could give everybody Ric Flair robes. No, uh, maybe one day we'll do a Ric Flair day and give everybody Ric Flair robes. We could do that just for you, lovely. But today's not our day. Today's is Max Day. And so we put... All the best people we could together. Of course, Jay Savage and Tone starting off the night, which was insane because he he, he decked his cousin, which is like, you know, in the game, it's not real. They're not necessarily family, but the fact that the drama is real, bro, he dubbed, he dubbed a female ringside. He dubbed her. <laughs> he dubbed her like a, he dubbed her like an out. Big fags. He dubbed her like an Alabama redneck. He said, <laughs> "He said, what was that South Park episode?" He said, "He said, shut your mouth, bitch." No, that was uh, it was it was South Park. It was basketballs, basketballs when they were messing with the country dudes, and that was his uh, that was his taunt. He said, "I'm fucking beat my wife, you just shut your mouth, bitch." <laughs> Best shit. But anyway, off topic. Check out your 80s wrestling, man. Moondog Rex. Well, it's actually just Rex, but there was a point in time in wrestling where people weren't going off the top ropes. Shout out Superfly Snooker. And um, I can't remember who did it after Snooker. I think uh, Macho Man Randy Savage started doing the elbow drop. Like Anyway, my man Rex used to have the most efficient elbow drop pins. You hear me? I love that era. Dudes used to have beer guts, steroid shoulders, and a cigarette. You hear Something's me? funny. Uh, two Big real cigarette. drama, real drama shows we both watched. What's that? Wrestling and Jerry. I was watching some '90s Jerry the other day. Love that. Watched the '90s Jerry. wrestling. Love they that. were more raunchy in wrestling in the '90s, and they slowly progressed down into like more family oriented. It's bit. really yeah, that's a Whereas good. Jerry went the complete opposite. That is funny. He kicked a lady off the stage. And for swearing too much. Uh, oh, here's your song, Obi. I do want to get somebody else to sing this, but it's it's good for what it is now. You guys ever had somebody that um, you ever like wrote a love song for, and uh, you knew it was corny, right? But they still they still told you they liked it. This is one of those moments. <laughs> I'm going to take my time with this one. Take my time. Oh, fuck. KJ's not taking no time. He's trying to finish this. Sidewalk slam. Bang. I love that move, man. Oh, Moondog with it. Moondog, get up, baby. 
And see the RPG style character progression, Chris. I know you wanted me to take out the Moon Dog in it, but I'm telling you, I, I love that Moon Dog. Like you, that's your little extra. You gotta work for what. You, hey, but to me, it means a lot. Hey guys, hey, listen. Happy birthday to my man Max. We're partying today, man. We're we're having a good time. This isn't gonna be a regular episode. You're gonna hear my music in the background most of the time. Actually, the whole time. Hey, listen, copyright infringement. Every time I try to put somebody else's music on there, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm better than most of them anyway. Should I say I'm better than Tommy Donald? I am. I'm better than Tommy Donald. I'm better than Tommy Donald. Reva's better. Uh, Reva's actually a really fucking funny rapper. Like, she's hilarious. She's like Little Dicky. If Little Dicky and Cardi B had a baby, that would be Reeve as a rapper. It's hilarious. Maybe we'll do a freestyle after this. Like I said, freestyle. I call it fast. Oh, man. Moondog, you got to get up. Don't let that man KJ treat you. Man, he ain't, he ain't shit. He's a, he's a security guard. Don't let the man put you down, Moondog. I don't think I've ever seen Moondog. Yeah. Real life? No, he's a uh, probably not. He's a uh, local rapper. Uh, oh, oh, there's that elbow drop. Oh, he's a person. He's a real person. Chris Hemingway okay. on Facebook. If uh, you guys want to check him out, he's actually really. Uh, I love rappers that like J Cole's new album. He's not trying to make you dance. You know, well, I didn't. You made him look. I thought he was an actual uh, wrestler. <gasps> no, ref. Oh, did did Moondog just stop the knuckles? <gasps> Yo, talk about knowing his street shit. Boy, shout out Moondog Rex. I've never seen that in the game before. He just reversed the uh, brass knuckles. Even the voice you were giving him. I assumed he was a wrestler. Uh, Rex is an actual real wrestler. But it was... He was added to this Soul Season Universe. The drama's real. Hey, hashtag anything you guys put out there, right? If you want me to find it, hashtag the drama's real. Once I click on that hashtag, it pops up. No one else is using it. Anyway. Like I said, Chris Hemingway, shut him out. He's also a great rapper. He's also a great fan of 80s, 90s wrestling. And no, he's by himself, I believe. He has a bunch of people that he deals with. Um, I don't want to misrepresent him right now because I can't remember his... Uh, yeah, that's how we met him. Yeah. And uh, again, he's one of those rappers that are like, I'm not trying to make you dance. Right, he he's got something to say. He really does. You guys go check him out. Uh, Chris Hemingway, out here in Vermont, man. A lot of good, a lot of good white rappers, man. That's why that Tom McDonald video. Yeah, that's why that Tom McDonald video really upset me because uh, I watch white people rap all the time, and it's not. It doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't. It looks to me like he was some sort of freak show. Yeah, why you got hog on your lower lip? That don't even make any sense to me as a grown man. Uh, hog, ew. What do you mean? You dick eater. Whatever. I be getting mad about that stuff. No, no, no. Uh oh, here we go, though. Here we go. KJ ain't no joke when it comes to the outside. We can see that. Oh, but he does. <laughs> Again, Chris brought in this guy from, you know, the 80s and 90s. It's just somebody I know that not a lot of people are going to remember. And it's just a great. Like, if I could bring old wrestlers to the WWE, like, you know, WWE, I would bring a lot of wrestlers in here, but it's just corny. It's really corny. I don't, I don't want Undertaker actually in here. I got Bryce Payne, who made a deal with the Undertaker and the devil, smacked the devil in the nuts Did with a two by four. Yeah, that's basically not Max. It's not well, Max is my Velveteen Dream. Be, oh, what is going on tonight with these crazy matches? See, I knew it. So, again, RPG-style character progression, fantasy sports-style betting, most electrifying four corners known to man. Ha. Solo Seasons Universe. I go in there, and I do not change your stats unless you earn the stats. But what happens, again, RPG, you are who you are. Online, that's who you are in this game. So, you know, post some cool pictures. Again, my love brought home some Shinsuke Nakamura pants. Some leather pants. And guess what? Her whole character changed. She got mad at me. Her, her, butt, her butt did look good in those white. I'm telling you, wait until you uh, 
get to look at her with that belt around it too. Mm. Anyway, I'm getting yummy out here. Meow. Kitty gang. Meow meow. Baby, say meow meow. Meow meow. There it is. Okay. The reason I like uh, the whole team dream and the other version of the game is because it does this on the map. Oh, I love that. That's what I mean. You got to be able to like, one of my favorite, like top three wrestlers, right guys? Top three wrestlers. Off rip, I'm going to get my top wrestler would be um, Kurt Angle. Number two would be Ric Flair. And number three would have to be Gold Dust. Right? These are people that play characters. Kurt Angle was the Olympic, like he is the uh, John Cena, the he's the American hero. He's the Hulk Hogan without being Hulk Hogan. Uh, I'm, oh, he's hulking up. He's hulking up and gonna suplex you with his old ass. That shit used to make me so mad. Randy Orton back in like 06, 07. I still love Randy Orton. He kind of started annoying me. Well, he's a, well, he got obliterated by my man. That's why I'm happy you actually got me that. The AJ Styles yeah. interview. The yeah, best inter... Bro, the best interview or the best uh, promo segment I've ever seen in my life was AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. However he does that show his hands. And uh, Randy Orton, right? And AJ Styles breaks character so bad. Like, he's looking Randy Orton in his face and Randy Orton's like, oh, I don't need anybody. I'm the legend killer, blah, 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 blah. I remember that. Bro, I AJ Styles stole I am. He was like, oh, oh, you don't need nobody? That was just like what happened weird. to Triple H, you, and whatever, they were the um, they were the powerhouse or something. like. But he had teammates. He had help the whole way through until he finally became a household name. Only because he had been there so long. That's it. And your RKO's sick. I'm not going to lie. You hit a nasty RKO. He's a beast. He's a beast. And his little cool slithering around on the mat. He does a good job. From high school, the RKO oh, what is this? What is this? What's up, my man? Oh, what's up? Yo, shout out Sensei Song for coming out to help the homie. Yeah. Chef ain't going to play those games. He bring the homie. He bring the whole squad. Yeah, right there. Take him for that long ride, Chef. Wild Kyle, the interplanetary champion right now, though. He's got to be really careful. I love watching Stone Cold. Who didn't? I just wish that he didn't wear the uh, Speedo the whole time. Oh, he, I mean, you I, know. I just I, didn't like his shorter ones. Like yo, he yeah. even, like, so the jeans I have on right now, guys. Here, I'm going yeah, to gonna show you guys. But he used to have fucking coochie cutters. That shit was so funny. Stone Cold was so funny. Like, so listen, I'm going to show you guys my pants. You guys can see it on Facebook. But anyway, yeah, you see that? Yeah, you know what that is. Yeah, you know what that is with a yeah, jean jacket. Like Ooh, stop I like, it! I like Rick Flair. Stop it, boy! I got the whole Stone Cold feeling going on right now. I'll stunner you. I'm a stunner myself. Always love Undertaker. Speaking and of fucking, uh, the number one mankind, stunner. Mankind, that's, that's the sock guy, right? Yeah, mankind. Used to call him just the sock guy. <laughs> yeah, like mankind, mankind so, is puts that's, on a good show. That's like, kind of funny show. because if I had to choose between like that's a good top three like Goldust and Mankind, I would I like both because he had Dude Love, which is Mick Foley, Cactus Jack, which was Mick Foley, Mankind, which was Mick Foley, and then Mick Foley, which was Mick Foley, right? He had a Royal Rumble match where he came in the Royal Rumble three times as three different characters. Mm -hmm. Fucking lit. Like, yeah, I love Mick Foley because he literally is willing to die for my entertainment. Love that about him. What are you bringing tax out for? I love the one for? with the Undertaker in Oh, him. God. The Undertaker tossed him out into the grave. That was oh. oh, the, um, yeah. that was... He comes up with his sock. That was Big Show... Uh, I don't was Undertaker in this Big Show Mankind yeah. and I think it was Undertaker. It was Undertaker. I think it was Big Show just upgrade. that's what it was. Big Show just showed up out of nowhere. I think Big Show just was like fucking up the match. Because he's so big. Yeah, he, he was a dickhead great. back then. He was big guy. If you guys don't remember, Big Show he's used to be funny. an asshole. Oh, he's hilarious. He that's what the thing was. It's like he he was a funny guy. Like he's like you guys know damn well if I really wanted to, I could just dub every one of you guys right and just take the belt. That's what his whole thing was. He was just like, he would just come out and chest slap you. <laughs> That's why if you guys ever been to any of my music shows, man, you come out there and party with us, GMB and uh, J Solo, man. Again, get in your YouTube, man. Green Mountain Boys Production. You can find me over there, too. Check out Tone. Check out J Blaze. They're doing their thing.
Wild Kyle actually is uh, one of the originals. He's off doing his own thing now. But we still get love. The fights are fake, guys. The drama's real. So, shout out the interplanetary champion, Wild Kyle. And shout out the Red Lion Planet for holding that belt for so long. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on here? <gasps> no. Why is this night turning out so crazy? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Talk about teamwork, though, man. You just came out. Well, no. Since they came out in the beginning, and uh, no, no, no. We don't even have no lucha mask. That's uh, remember I was telling you that's that's the homie big chef. Who today it was funny. I had actually it's so funny how many of these characters I saw today. It's funny a enough, head? it's a beanie. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a beanie. Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, it's not, it's not a lucha mask. It's the beanie, and uh, it's just funny. I actually seen a lot of the characters that are I seen today. I wish I could have seen Max, but like I said, happy birthday, brother! This whole episode is dedicated to you. No, nothing else, man. I'm blame. I'm partying over here, boy. I'm enjoying myself, and I know you are too right now. I called you. You're at the bar. Matter of fact, hmm. where's my phone? Oh, all right, guys, hold on. Okay. I'm watching my man Sensei and Chevy win a match. Hold on. Hold on. I got to see if he wins this. <sighs> of course. So, I will not take a point for my guesstimations, but... Who are you putting up there? Wild Kyle? Nah, no, no, no. For age. Um, oh, for... He, he's younger than Sensei. Yeah, for sure. But is he older than you? Or I, I don't know, actually. I don't even know. I'm going to yeah. say he's really mature. But he's really young. Yeah, he looks I, young. Like, um, he's mature, but he's young. I'm shooting for 23. No. He can't be younger than my sister. Big homie. Hold on a second. You know who the ladies love, right? Y'all hear his voice? This is going to be the first time. Happy birthday. We're going to do it right now. Hold on, wait a minute. He gets something here. Yo. What you got? The headphones on? Yeah, I have to put the headphones on. Yo, do me a favor. Do me a favor, you hear me? Yeah. Stay, do, do me a favor and say, say stay season. Stay season. Oh, I'm about to. <laughs> ah, I'm streaming right now live. I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm recording an episode just for your birthday, homie. I'm watching, uh, Sensei and Chev kind of torture this, uh, this poor man. Uh, Wild Kyle right now. You got a match coming up though. You Buddha Bomb are uh, about to try and take out Ducky and Mr. J after they cheated you guys out. We need your interaction in the comment section. Yeah, big facts, big facts. Actually, you know what? I'm actually happy I got him with me now so we can just get it out there. You ready to sing happy birthday to him? Yep. All right, one, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday, dear Max Maximus. Say it right. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. And the ladies love. <laughs> okay. So your interaction. How People old are, are you, brother? Guess your oh, actually, age. should we? Oh, we should just Don't tell, tell us your actual Don't age. Don't tell us your age, yeah. yeah. No, I know. They're yeah, I wanted to. And you hit like on the correct today, one, and they get a point. Yeah. yeah, the all white joint. Yeah, it's the Medusa joint, man. It's actually, um, it's actually my, I guess you call him like my half brother, because it's Carrie's brother. He, hey, but it's honestly, he's got a few people he's going in business with. Hey, the place never looks dirty. It's all white in Rutland, so it's like, you know, you really got to keep it clean. You know? It is what it is. He'd be kicking out low lowlifes, too. You know Felix, right? Yeah. Yeah, he be. That's what I was about to say. He be kicking out low lives because he knows who they are. You can't play with Felix. Yeah, like that's why I like Felix, man, because he he's one of those bouncers that's like, bro, like don't make me pull a strap on you. You, I know who you are. Like, the <laughs> oh, I just got done. I just got done seeing. Uh, it's funny because I'm watching Sensei's on a Chevy do a match right now and I just got done seeing them and like oh we're doing the triple suplex hold up the tripleta I gotta go help him move tomorrow too man he's gonna get out of here he's tired of, he's tired of y'all 
But uh, no, nah, it's sad. Nah, you know, bro is bro is a bro is a Rolling Stone. He gonna go wherever he wants to go. But uh, uh, Chef, Chef tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm gonna help him because you know people have been picking on him lately, man. Oh, he just won though, yo. He just won. That's what's up. I don't know where he's going, man. I just know he needs help, and I gotta help him because he he deserves better. <laughs> he do, man. I don't know. Hey, he deserves better, man. So what's up? So you had a good birthday? You ain't cut no cake? You guys just went to go drink and shit? Nah, you don't want to have dinner first, man. Something like once you get. Oh, no, my we did. We, had, we went to um, we went to Kev Crib and Here is we had cook down some hey. like, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What are you talking about? You talking? Yeah, Lil Kev. Yeah, coming out with us. Cookouts out for us. birthday is best. Bro, you talking about Lil? You talking about Lil Kev, right? Hey, yo, tw- hey, yo, tw- <laughs> yo. I gotta make him a character. I told him I was gonna make him a character, but not yet. Not oh, yet. Oh man, I'm telling you, I gotta fix my hair. I'm mad at you right now. I seen your hair the other day. All right, live guess. You know that one. Thirty on the dot or thirty-one? Nah, Susan. I guarantee it. Oh, what the fuck is this? Maybe younger than Keisha though. Who? I can't remember that one black wrestler from back in the back in the days. Booker man. T. Yeah. Booker Chocolate T, love. the five-time, five-time, five-time world champion. Yeah, I'm over here messing with my hair because I'm talking to you. <laughs> you see how he got That's me. A chunky you guy see how he got me all. Yeah. He got me thinking about myself right now because the ladies love Max Maximus. <laughs> I, love, I love you. I know you do, but you know what? Hey. Yo, thirty super or thirty one. Yeah, guess. so she's guessing. Don't she's gonna comment it. So that's yeah, actually I'll a cool thing. It. So, Max, we'll do this little thing with you, man. If uh, people don't guess it right in the comment section how old you are, you'll get five points. But if someone guesses right in the comment section, you got to make sure you like and say, oh, no. all right, they're right. Yeah, man. Yeah, they'll get the points. But. I'll do like an emoji or some shit. Uh, you already know. See, he ain't going to do nothing normal. He's going to do something cute for the ladies. I told them be kind. Yeah. <laughs> but on everything. So, you know, I got a button masher series going on right now, too. Yeah, I'm already back. Yeah, I'm already back at the town in my place. Yeah, I couldn't stay out there for long. I was I was a hot tamale with all my kids and shit. I'm just that is dusty. Mad dusty and Redland. Mad, <laughs> mad dusty. I tried to wear the all whites to the studio. Of course, I got cigarette ash on them. I ain't even smoked no cigarettes. No. Yeah, cigarette film on me. I went to go visit. How the fuck I get cigarette smoke on me? Damn, I messed up my hair too much messing around with it. I, see, Max, you know, it fuck up. He made me. Yeah. And, um, I was just telling her like I got called Jordan because he just called me not too long ago. Yeah, I was. I was right. And the craziest thing is, I almost guarantee when you were at Medusa's, I was right next to you. I promise you, because I had to go meet Tony. I and, um, oh, that's why he was already. I know she was at it. But that was earlier though, wasn't it? No. When we saw oh, that's right. When we saw Baba. Oh, so yeah, it's all right, man. We should. I mean, we were running circles around each other. I should have saw you today, though, because right now here, here you guys go too. Yo, Max in the purple, Buddha in the purple. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, whoa, hold on. Oh no, this ain't starting good though. Oh shit. Oh, no. <laughs> you got it. You see, I think you figured it out though. Like it's funny because your characters figured out Ducky. You know what I mean? You can beat Ducky now. <laughs> It's hard. It's hard. It's an hour I'm episode. Catching up. Yeah, I'm catching up yeah it's you know these are hour episodes. It's not like you really want to watch. Like, did I ever really watch all of fucking WWE Raw or SmackDown? Nah, I went back and You're forth, right? right but yeah, no facts. Something about Max lately is snapped, and the only reason they beat you guys last time is they they cheated. Low key, they cheated. They counted you. They got a count out and beat you guys. <laughs> Did you see that one? Yeah. They, that one. Yeah, yeah, so they kind of cheated you out. He ran in at nine. Ran in at nine and then high five the Joker like, we did it. We did it, brother. Oh, my God. So, Max Maximus, the people would love to know, what is your choice of drink for your birthday? Yeah, what, what you drinking right now? What did you, you drink when you went out? 
Oh, he, you could, he drug you here hiccuping. <laughs> <laughs> like a cartoon, you did, you bro. You did top shelf, though, right? <laughs> Medusa don't really have anything that's not top shelf. Yeah, right. yeah, Long Island's are. It's good, one of those places. Medusa is one of those places where you don't you don't get no mid you don't get no low shelf. You can only, you only gotta buy mid or high shelf. You know I mean? That's why I like a place like that, though. Rutland needs a place like that. You know, you know, hey, no, no, nigga, you can't be coming in here with the needle marks in a in a t shirt. Back up. <laughs> That should be killing me, bro. How you gonna try, you gonna try to get into the club with your ten dollars? Well, your your face all anyway. I ain't gonna disrespect nobody. Here. Hey, listen. Right now, I'm thinking honestly. I think you guys are. Oh fuck, Charisma's ringside too. Fucking Ashley ringside too. Yo, listen. Um, go on my uh, YouTube button mashers. Go go and claim that money because no one's claimed that four dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> It's button mashers, so I created a new series where um, I play old school games, like how you used to play in the arcade, right? And so I, I instantly start off with uh, 50 cents, right? So automatically, I got to put 50 cents in the machine, in a sense, right? So every time I lose, I got to put another quarter in. And every time I put a quarter in, whoever claims the money in the comment section gets, you know, Gets the money that I spent on the arcade, in a sense. So, we spent like a hundred bucks on games the other day. We did, yeah. we did. No, we have a hundred. Ten old games. Yeah. Few you, of them uh, you ever play? You ever? What, what was the first system you had, Max? Like, you, what was the first gaming system you had? Like back in the day, day. Back in the way heyday. What was you first playing? Please say sixty-four. Was it PlayStation and sixty-four Game Boy? What's the first Nintendo out there? Oh yeah, Mario. Yeah, the NES. The NES. Were you were you putting it on the were you putting the cartridge on the top or were you putting it underneath? Like were you was it was it up and down or was it flat when you were putting it in? On the top, I think. Yeah, hey yo, I told you he's young. He's young, bro. I told you. I told you he's young. That right there, I'm trying to get hints. <laughs> Earlier, yeah, no, he's you're, like 24. You're, I'm you're telling you, he's young, he's boy. He's mad mature, but I can tell he's still young. My youngest brother is 24. I can tell he's mad mature, but he's still young. The lady's a ladies' man. You hear me? I know. I know a young ladies' man when I see one. You hear me? I know a young player. I know a young player like myself when I see one. There be one ladies' <laughs> man. I know. She hate when I do that shit to him. <laughs> She's like, they can look, but don't touch. <laughs> She be in the comment section on fire, bro. Love her for that. And that's why, again, the RPG style character progression, this whole time, uh, Mr. J, Harley Quinn have been cheating. The whole time. Low blows and all kinds of other shit. Really cheating, cheating. And so, it's just kind of funny that now Charisma kind of come, came out here and you know what I mean? She's fucking, you know what I mean? As your lady, she came out here and was like, nah. You caught it. You caught it. Right? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Yeah. J hit you with the low blow. Twice, as a matter of fact. Yeah, he hit you twice. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. And like, right the, the crazy it's, thing it's about like that legend. is right before He's that match, him. right? So, like, there's so much drama going down. So, I'm happy I got Max here to talk about it. So, Bryce Payne. And Cook were going at it, right? Bryce Payne hit Cook with a low blow, right? Crazy. Got disqualified. Um, no, 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 no. Cook beat... Yeah, yeah. So, Cook beat Bryce Payne. And then Bryce Payne kicked Cook in the nuts. And then, the next week, instead of fighting, Bryce Payne brought out Donald Trump. And Donald Trump hit Cook in the nuts, <laughs> right? And so, the next week... Jay Savage, myself, had to fight Bryce Payne, and I had already knew they were cheaters, right? So it's funny. My character low-blowed Bryce Payne and got disqualified, and the match after that, right? Because my character already knew. He was like, even if I win this match, you're going to low-blow me. So I'm just going to low-blow you, right? <laughs> my character is a savage, Jay Savage. Um, and the match right after that, though, which was weird, because the match right after that is the... Oh, there's your signature! Oh, oh you just kicked the shit out of me. Oh, I love that pistol kick. That pistol kick. Well, you're taking a big break right now. 
Big break. All right, but um, yeah. So in the, it was just messed up to me too because I had to go look at the referee and his statistics and shit because I was like, how, how did he kick out of that? Oh, but I was just confused at long how long. in the fu- yeah it was a long week. Riva low blowed charisma for the belt. It was crazy, but a lot of low blows that week. Jay Savage just got an insta win because Tony decked me in the face. Yeah, that's crazy. You can't wait. I can't wait till you see this episode right now because you guys are having the best match I've ever seen, like wrestling. Wise, like he just choke slammed you. I hope you can kick out. Oh, hold on, Duck and Mr. J. Oh, Buddha just saved you. Buddha just saved you. Woo-hoo. Spicy, spicy. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, dude, the drama is absolutely real. I hope you guys beat them because they cheated you out last time. I love Duck. I love him. You know, he's a good fan. He's a good friend, but his character's been a dickhead lately. But um, what was I about to say? Uh, I said. The low blows were crazy yeah, last week. That's why I mean this is all coming to a close right here, right now. Like this is all coming to a close. Like this match right here is like really kind of the solidifying moment. Of, like, so weird too. You changed my mood to like. A- Ooh, yo! Shout out you and Buddha. Yo, you and Buddha be the nastiest tag team. <gasps> no, you didn't, yo. You guys is tag team legends. When did Ducky come back? Uh, Ducky came back. At, oh, you just yep. Sweet, sweet music, baby. That's over. Count the three. Count. Count the three count. Oh, of course. Oh, Fucking I Joker it. kicks him. Give him the three count. Oh, yo, why did you win? Oh, oh, yo, shout out. Yo, Max and Buddha are the. <gasps> yo, this is the craziest. This is why I love that the computer does this shit. Because, oh, are you really about the mystical flatliner? Yo, do me a favor. Say, ladies love Max. Look, he's drunk. <laughs> He's drunk. He said, "Yo, that was such a player thing to do." He said, "Ladies love Max." Oh, con, you can't kick out of that. You can't kick out of that, nah, bro. Uh, we this pulled is up trash. today, and uh, Hold up. my oldest daughter goes, uh, "This is where Mass Massimus is." Oh yeah, fuck yeah, she knows you She's by got heart, S's bro. On it, though, instead of X. Yeah, a little six-year-old, bro. You got a little six-year-old heartthrob. You hear me? She's like, "He got long hair like you." Oh, shut up. <laughs> what? Hold up! What are you doing? Oh my God! Yeah, nigga, what? Yo, you and Buddha are for real the best. Ta- and it's, tell me, it ends right there. Two, Come on. Three. What, boy? I couldn't Happy even pull. I couldn't. Hey, to, to you. you. Happy birthday to you, bro. The, I'm telling you right now. When this loads, a couple hours from now, fifteen something hours from now. You are going to be happy that this is your birthday episode. That was probably the, like, best tag team match I've ever seen, whether it be real life or fake. The way you and Buddha just tag team, everything you guys just did was amazing. Buddha got to get you a Max Maximus Facebook page. So well, no, as soon as he, listen, identity. yo, as soon as Max sends me 40 bucks, he's going to have an, a Ladies Love Max sweater. Solo season, man. Mm-hmm. I want to send it to you for free, brother, but I can't. All right? I ain't making no money on this shit yet, so... So, Cat, you just got 450 How about that? How about you just keep claiming money on... <laughs> How much you just saw uh, the pictures for? It was because of the size of the camera. Well, yeah, we're going to keep printing them as if they're our own, though. we got to get a system going with him. He's a good dude. I just need to get more money on well, deck. We probably get a press for... Uh, it's super cheap. Super cheap, bro. I can't believe you and... Listen, I'm just going to tell you the truth. You and Buddha... Just went off on Ducky and Mr. J. So, Mr. J broke up the count. Oh, here comes the double team. Oh, we haven't seen the double oh, super nice. kick in so long, bro. But you got to learn. You got to, like, we'll put when this you, out there. You did most of the work. Bro, the way you just handled that. So, you hit your signature. And then you hit the sweet chin music. Then he kicked out. Then you mystical flatliner. Then he kicked out. And then you tagged in Buddha. Then, you, then Buddha smacked him around a little bit. And then you guys super kicked the double super kick. Bro. You guys are the best tag team ever, like, for real. Like, you guys deserve those belts, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. You guys do. I don't know. I don't know how it happened. I always thought Max would be, like, the Did interplanetary. Did you design their belts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I changed their belts up, too. I changed their belts up. It's different now. The tag team belts are a little different thanks to do Max Do you have any Buddha. ideas for your belt? Max Maximus? Hell no, he don't get it. No, he don't get to change the bills. No. He better get the Solo Season Universal or oh, the Interplanetary. It feels so queenly. I got to design the ladies. Yeah, that's the only belt that's going to change, man. The Solo Season belt's Universal, man. Once you get that belt around your waist, shit start changing. That's why you see Cook throwing people through tables and like, you know, the, that belt means something in this universe. Like, yeah, I get it. Hey, 
<laughs> so Max, man, happy birthday, broski. Uh, what uh, what else you got planned? You playing 2K tonight? Maybe some Warzone. I'll get on there with you. All right, man. Listen, don't fall asleep on me, man. All right. One of the greatest sporting spectacles since. Your hiccups oh. are cartoony. <laughs> Yo, was that the end of the episode? It was. That was the end of the episode. Um, hey, so, hey, thank you to you guys. The season for you. Uh, I want to say. This is getting really smart. Oh, yeah, I put an ending on it now. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of just Solo ending it quickly, I keep putting my commercial on it at the end of every episode. What do you do? You just, like, time it for 60 minutes and do it? Yeah, well, I have to edit it because it's only hour episodes. I don't want it to be an hour. Anything more than that is just going to be like, what do you do, pay per view? What do you think you're a fucking dick? I make the app. Boy, my mom's trying to charge $90 for the Solo Season Universe, like, like, uh, like, like UFC. <laughs> Oh, yeah, check out Angry Man Rants, too, man. You see this thing I did on Tom McDonald? You got called racist today. Yeah. That was the first time I ever got called racist online. That was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I was just, I was just like, yeah, I was like, oh, shit. I was like, I was like, I'm like, I was like, I was like what racist to, to which race? I was like, I was like, this specific. <laughs> I was like, because like, I, like, I was like, I might be. Like, I don't know. Like, what race? She was like, I, I mean, she was a white girl, so she obviously probably meant white people, but I was like, but I'm white. <laughs> like I'm white like what are you talking about like I'm white I'm native and I'm black like every race that I talk about I am so yeah I kind of got an authority on that stupid and then you put some spice <laughs> in your song it would be bad hey unfortunately man I only got a couple seconds left but uh thank you to you to season two and happy birthday to Max Nice this man hey give me a favor tell him to stay season stay season hey hey you gotta love it alright I'm just gonna go ahead and end